All right, what is up guys? I recently participated in a new initial coin offering for this brand new cryptocurrency that I'd like to take a moment to talk to you guys about. So before I delve into all that, I'd like to ask if you could please hit the like button, subscribe, comment, and share. And uh, yeah, did I, did I mention hit the bell icon? If I didn't, hit it because <laughs> you'll be notified of our new uploads. So guys, I kind of wanted to make a video here delving into what I see as the pros and cons with Apollo Fintech's new uh, initial coin offering, uh, the GSX token, gold backed cryptocurrency. So I kind of just wanted to run through some of the pros and cons I see uh, with this cryptocurrency. And yeah, so let's get let's get uh, going. So one of the things that I, I saw right off the bat that made me like uh, this coin and that made me want to invest. And this was actually the thing that um made me pull the trigger on investing because I, I was dubious about it beforehand was it was this Binance listing. They're working on a Binance listing. Uh, who knows if they'll get it, but just just the fact that they're working on it and they're very open about that, um, I, I found very intriguing. And I presume that there's even more exchange listings as well. Uh, they're also offering a 64% uh, sign-in bonus uh, if you sign up within the next 16 hours. So I'm sure after that it'll decrease. Uh, when I signed up, it was like 67%, and now it's, it, the next day it was like 65, not at 64. Regardless, you know that seems uh, you know there's that. So um, another thing I, I like about this coin is something that's actually built into the tokenomics. Uh, that being that they're saying that half of the gold and half of the half of their profits uh, will go to actually backing uh, GSX itself. So uh, I'll leave a link in the white paper uh, below so you guys can check it out for yourselves. But uh, yeah, they said 50% of their profits will be, will be going to actually backing uh, the the coin itself, GSX, uh, with gold and the other precious metals that they mine. Uh, also, another thing I, I liked is that in case of solvency, you know, if anything were to happen with Apollo FinTech or that, you know, their mining operations, uh, that the actual land itself and the um, and, and the gold that's that's backing the coin, uh, coin holders are entitled to that. So, you know, um, that's just something else to consider, you know. And um, they're, they're offering uh, 10 billion tokens for sale for for sale in their initial offering and 50% of those coins uh, let's see if I can actually pull it up here yeah so they're offering 10 billion coins in their initial distribution event that's what they're calling it and 50% uh, of those let's see if it even says right here yes as we can see here 50% of the coins not sold will be burned so hey you know they're they're <laughs> they're saying they're gonna have a token burn uh, I've had some <laughs> you know uh, I I've seen where, uh, you know, uh, teams will, will claim uh, a token burn. And I'm sure many of you guys who've been following the channel kind of uh, knows how that goes. So I'm, I'm taking that with a grain of salt. But I, I think uh, <laughs> I think I trust the Paul Fintech a bit more. They're, they're much more uh, bigger and well-established than uh, than by Dow. That's, that's what I was referring to. So, you know, they're going to have a token burn, 50% of the tokens that aren't sold uh, after the uh after the sale here so there's going to be a, a total supply of 30 billion um now to kind of uh oh, it, just before i i move from the uh, pros to the cons uh they've also uh, mentioned that they're gonna be paying some kind of dividends uh i don't know if that's gonna be staking or actual dividends uh but yeah see it says here all the dividends will have a hold period of six months so um you know i'm not too sure exactly how that will be paid out but you know they do offer some kind of dividends now to kind of uh, you know, transition into some of the cons. I, I see some of the concerning things I see with this uh, with this coin is that well, they're offering 10 billion to the public to be sold, but uh, GSX, uh, or sorry, Apollo FinTech will be in control of 20 billion of the 30 billion. Uh, you know, uh, supply as of now, uh, we're gonna have uh, that the token burn, so we'll see what this uh, number actually is afterwards. But bottom line, they're gonna have control of 20 billion. So, um, you know, with with Apollo FinTech having control over 20 billion, that brings you know centralization, and you know, uh, so that's just, that's just something to consider. Now, they claim here that they're gonna be you know uh, operating under the the coin holders' uh, best interests. They say here that they they uh, retain the right to sell or burn any of those tokens to increase the asset value or benefit GSX holders. So, you know, um, make of that what you will, but just that's something to be to consider. And another thing I, I kind of uh, noticed was, um, you know, they, they said they're going to be third party audited to see 
uh, if they're uh, if they're actually backing um, the the coin with the gold they they say they are. So they're saying they're going to be uh, third party uh, third party audited. You'll be able to check that out in the white paper in the description below. So uh, you know who knows how, how if you trust that third part party audit. You know it's just something to consider. Uh, another thing as well, guys, you know, I'm in cryptocurrency. I'm not in the gold management or the gold mine management business. I don't know how well Apollo Fintech is running these mines. I, you know, so um, you're putting some degree of trust in Apollo Fintech, uh, in Apollo Fintech's uh, ability to properly manage uh, gold mine operations, uh, you know, so just understand that that's 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 kind of what you're buying into here so I, I you know i'm not experienced in the gold mine management business so i don't really know how well they're managing it so you know i consider that a, a risk i'd put that in the con category because since i don't have a great understanding of that business i don't know necessarily how well all the, this uh, these mining operations are, are being run but then again you know they they, they claim that uh, the land and the uh the gold that's going to go to back uh, the coin in case of a solvency would actually go back to the coin holders. So, you know, there's that to consider too, but I just kind of wanted to throw out there what I see as the pros and what I see some of the, some of the cons, some of the risks. So, um, you know, th those are, those are kind of some of the, the main things, I, you know, I had in mind is who knows how well this is all run. Uh, a large portion of the supply will be d directly controlled by Apollo Fintech. Now they claim they'll uh, operate under the best interest of coin holders. And, you know, I believe they will. Um, but, you know, it's it's technically up to them. They, they will have a, a uh, uh, control over a large portion of the supply. And then again, guys, there's always risk when it comes to investing, especially in uh, an initial coin offering such as this, uh, you know, investing in something like this really comes down to what's your risk tolerance guys okay guys i'm not giving financial advice here on this channel i'm just kind of talking about the things i find interesting and, and you know talking about the the different nuances behind it and hopefully you guys uh gain some kind of context and knowledge uh you know through my kind of talking about this so you know um I, I want to implore everyone watching this to please do your own research, have your own risk assessment, have your own trading plan, and understand your own risk tolerance. You know, um, you know this is a new coin. Uh, there's a lot of unknowns here. Uh, it's an interesting idea. So you just kind of kind of ask yourself you know, how 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 willing are you to to risk um, your capital that you invest. You know, I recommend never investing anything that you're not prepared to lose because who knows? Uh, you know, a good idea might might not. Um, you know, might, might not manifest, not might might not work out the exact way you thought it would. So, guys, I just kind of wanted to give like a nuanced uh, view, kind of weigh some of the pros and cons that I see with this. Now, ultimately, I thought this was interesting enough that I threw some money at it as well. So, you know, if you guys do your own research and decide you want to participate, um, I invite you to uh, click on the link down in the description where it says 5% sign up bonus. If you guys sign up using that link, you'll get a 5% sign up bonus and I'll get a kickback from that as well. So I just want to make that very clear. Um, think of it as almost like a sponsorship. So, you know, guys, I just kind of want to put that video out there, kind of describe me as, uh, you know, what I see as some of the pros and cons. Uh, please do your own research. With that being said, uh, I think there's like 12 days left for the um, for for the, for the sale here. Uh, if you guys do decide to participate, uh, you know, don't forget that referral link down in the description. And uh, yeah, guys, take care.